Hello everyone, it's me, Michelle, again, and welcome to the second topic for our TOP series. And for this recording, I will be talking about the psychodynamic theories, which are some of the earliest um, theories in psychology, specifically about personality. No, Now, tayong mga psychology majors, um, we really need to have a good understanding of these psychodynamic theory, specifically yung psychoanalysis by Sigmund Freud, because Freud's theory is actually what started it all in the field of personality psychology. So for this video, I will briefly talk about um, not just Sigmund Freud's psychoanalysis, but also all the other theories no, that make up the psychodynamic approach or theories. Okay, so... Um, like what I just said, no, yung psychodynamic theory is comprised of several theories, no. So it's a set of psychological theories that arise from the ideas that humans are often driven by unconscious motivation. So yan yung pinaka key concept ng psychodynamic theory that we are driven by unconscious motivations and that adult personality and relationships are often the result of childhood experiences. Okay, now, psychodynamic theory originated from um, the psychoanalytic theory of Sigmund Freud and um, includes any theory based on his ideas. So, ito yung mga works ni na Carl Jung, Alfred Adler, Eric Erikson, and, you know, yung mga newer theories like the object relations by Melanie Klein. So, and many more, no? Yung mga nandyan sa screen natin right now. So, for this video, it will be an overview lang of the different psychological theories under psychodynamic theory. I will also be releasing several videos about the different theories where I will have um, a more in-depth no, discussion of these theories. But for now, you know, because it's important eh, to to talk about, uh, just very briefly about these theories and see how we can compare and contrast one from the other based on their key concepts. No, para mas mabilis at madali natin sila maunawan. Okay. So of course, we will begin with um, no other than the legend or the man behind the psychodynamic theory, the one who started it all, see Sigmund Freud, no? So in Freudian's in, in Freudian theory, you know, the human mind is um actually structured into two main parts. So meron conscious and meron ding unconscious mind. But um the psychoanalytic theory by Freud lies heavily, you no know, very heavy shot on the unconscious. But of course, we will discuss ano ba yung conscious mind also. No, the conscious mind includes all of the things that we are aware of or ito yung mga bagay that we can easily bring into our awareness. Okay, so that's the conscious mind. Now, unconscious, okay, sabi ko nga dito very heavy yung concept ni Freud, no? In Sigmund Freud's psychoanalytic theory of personality, the unconscious mind um, is defined as a reservoir of feelings, thoughts, urges, and, you know, even memories that are outside of our conscious awareness. Okay, so within this understanding, most of the contents now of the unconscious are considered unacceptable or um, mostly unpleasant, like yung mga feelings of pain, um, anxiety, and ba ba yung mga unpleasant na yan, no? yung mga conflict, no? He also implied that um, our urges, our hidden desires, yung mga life instincts natin, like sexual desires, no? And um, death instincts like thoughts of aggression, trauma, and danger, no? Are all in the unconscious mind. Okay, now, ayon si Freud, he believed that the unconscious continues to um, influence people's behavior even though hindi tayo aware, no? Even though we are unaware of this underlying influences. So, unconscious nga, diba? So, this psychoanalysis is 
all about um, um, how the unconscious mind plays a big role in the human behavior. So, see Freud, he also became famous for um, dream analysis. No, he um, became very famous for the book he first published in the 1900s and ang title ng book na yon ay The Interpretation of Dreams and this book provided you know groundbreaking theory of dreams and an innovative method for interpreting them so um si freud he once said that the in, the interpretation of dreams is um the the royal road to the knowledge of the unconscious activities of the mind. So, yung book ni Freud na sinulat niya, no, isa ito sa mga pinaka-importanting books, no, of the 20th century. So, ganun siya naging ka-famous, no, um, because of the book that he authored, no, so the interpretation of dreams, okay? Dun din sa book na yon, he also came up with the psychosexual stages of development. Okay, which I have another video on. Okay, we will be discussing about that also. Um, he was also very popular because of the terminologies that he used, no, the on sa um, psychosexual stages of development. You know, he would use the word um, sexual needs, no, or he would always use the word sex a lot, and people would interpret it as sex as in intercourse, but it is really just his preferred term to mean anything that brings pleasure, okay? So Sigmund Freud was an Austrian neurologist and he observed that, you know, his patients, they would exhibit psychological symptoms with no um, biological basis. So nakita niya na yung mga patients niya were um, unable to stop you know, their symptoms despite any conscious efforts. So he then reasoned that if these symptoms couldn't be prevented by conscious will, then maybe, you know, they must arise from the unconscious. So dun yun nagsimula. And, you know, according to him, um, the symptoms were the result of the unconscious will opposing the conscious will. And, okay, now... I think I have already um, mentioned this to you, okay, earlier no parang orientation pa lang natin, no, that the terms psychoanalytic and psychodynamic are often used interchangeably, okay? However, uh, meron talaga siyang important distinction, no? So, psychoanalytic only refers to theories developed by Freud, while the term psychodynamic references, um, both Freud's theories, no, together with the many other theories that are based on his ideas. Now, um, I don't want you to um, be confused with the two terms, no, kaya inuulit ulit natin siya. So, um, psychoanal psychoanalytic theory is different. Um, I mean, psychoanalytic theory is under psychodynamic theory, but merong distinction yung dalawa. Okay, Ayan. so just don't be confused with the term. So yeah, Freudian theory also divides human personality into three major components. So that's the id, ego, and the superego. Now, all of these um, components of the personality, they are all develop developing at different stages in our lives. No, um, they are... Um, they are systems. They are not part of our brain or, you know, in any way physical. Like, you don't open the brain and see these components, no? They are systems, okay? So, the id is the most primitive part of the personality, no? And it is the source of all our most basic urges, okay? So, that's the claim. Now, the id is entirely unconscious and um, serves as the source of all libidinal energy. While the ego, naman, is um, the component of personality that deals with reality. And um, ang ginagawa niya is to um, help ensure na yung demands ni id ay nasasatisfy, no? And 
it should be satisfied in ways that are realistic, should be safe and socially acceptable. No? Kasi ito na yung mga pinapakita natin outwardly. So, kailangan ano siya, socially acceptable siya. Now, the superego is the part of the personality that holds all of the internalized morals no? and standards that you know we can acquire from our families, our parents, you know, our friends, and the society in general. So you'll learn more about this in the coming lessons focusing specifically on Freud's theory. Okay? And now, we would move along to the next theory, okay? And that's analytical theory by Carl Jung. So, si Jung, he was um, very, very closely associated with Freud. Now, according to historians, now, they were very, very, very good friends, best friends, in fact. And so, um, very obviously, you know, um, Jung uh, drew a lot of his theory from Freud psychoanalysis. So, he was very popular for his ideas about the archetypes. No? So, si Freud, he believed diba, that much of our actions now are heavily motivated by the unconscious, okay? Si Carl naman, si Carl Jung, he believed um, the importance of the individual's connection to their society, and he coined the term collective unconscious, which basically includes our um, culture, yung mga traditions natin, and the many ideals and interests that we share as one um, community, I mean society, no, community or society. No? And under the collective unconscious is the archetype. Okay, ano ba yung archetype? No? So, um, some examples of archetypes would be the mother, the shadow, wise old man, um, hero, persona, and there are many others that we will cover again separately from today's discussion. So, itong mga archetypes na ito, these are um, characters, you know, that we can see in our um, culture um, represented through the arts, mga ganyan, no, as part of our collective unconscious. So, si Carl Jung, he believes that for us to achieve the peak of our human personality or yung tinatawag niyang individuation, it's actually his ver version of um, self-actualization, no? so individuation, yung term ni Carl yung doon. No? So para daw natin yun ma-achieve, we have to connect to our archetypes. Okay, so for example, na i-cover natin yung dalawang um, archetypes, no? the persona and the shadow archetype. Okay, so for the person daw to be fully um, psychologically healthy, the person must be in touch with his um, public and private self. So, persona being one's public self, okay, kung ano yung pinapakita niya sa iba, and um, yung shadow archetype niya is yung private self niya. So, you know, um, you need to be able now to confront both of your archetypes, okay, so that you will know and recognize that you are both this and that. Okay, that you may have a good side and you may also have a bad side. No, then when you know that you're either this or that, um, it will help you um, better able to cope with who you are as a person. Mas madali mo ding mauunawaan yung sarili mo. Something like that, no? And again, we will have a separate discussion on the archetypes. Okay? Ayan. So madami tayong discuss. Kasi madaming psychodynamic theories. But yeah, we will be talking about each of these um, um, in more in-depth discussion later on. Okay, so moving along to Karen Horney's psychoanalytic, uh, analytic, psychoanalytic social theory. So Horney yan, hindi Horney. Okay, so Karen Horney. According to her, lahat tayo, mayroon tayong um, mga neurotic needs and neurotic tendencies. So she developed one of the best known theories of neurosis. Now, when we say neurosis, ano bang ibig sabihin ito, no? Um, ito yung mga uh, mental, emotional, or physical reactions natin that are 
sometimes drastic and also irrational. So she believed that um, neurosis results from basic anxiety caused by interpersonal relationships and many other factors in situations. Okay, now um, Hornice theory proposed that um, strategies used to cope with anxiety can be overused and therefore causing them to take on the appearances the appearance of needs okay ito yung tinatawag niyang neurotic needs in the theory it is said that there are three broad categories of these neurotic needs so number 1 ito yung needs that move people towards others second needs that move people away from others and three needs that move people against others okay so again we will elaborate that when we um, fully discuss about the psychoanalytic social theory later on so she also said that psychologically healthy people try to meet these um needs not as much as possible while neurotic individuals or those who are psychologically unhealthy people um instead of trying to meet these needs no um they actually obsess over these needs yeah Okay, now let's talk about Adler. So, si Adler parang isa siya sa mga favorites. Sa mga favorites ka din na yung individual psychology. Now, according to Adler, um, proponent siya ng ano, individual psychology. No? Ang focus niya is on the concept of striving for success versus superiority. So, he believed that for the person to... Um, become psychologically healthy, he must strive for success over superiority. So, dichotomy siya. Either you have to strive to be successful for yourself or for others, or you strive to become superior. Now, in a sense, um, some would say excessive desire to overly um, become superior um, then others may be a characteristic of a psychologically unhealthy individual. Uh, so Adler's theory focused on looking at the individual as a whole, which is why he referred to his approach as individual psychology. So yung kabuan ng isang individual. Okay. Um, he is also remembered for his concepts of the inferiority feeling or the inferiority complex. No? He believed that inferiority complex plays a major part in the formation of personality. So ano ba yung inferiority feeling na yan? So yung inferiority complex na yan is a lack of self-esteem where the person is unable to um, rectify yung mga feelings niya na lacking siya. Ano, no? So inferiority yeah, so according to Adler, the hallmark of inferiority complex is that um, persons are always striving to find a situation in which they excel. Okay? So parang nagtatry din kasi yung person naman actually to compensate dun sa feelings niya of inferiority. No? Kaya nagsisik siya to always strive to find a situation kung saan sila mag excel Yun. So, sabi dito, this drive is due to their overwhelming feelings of inferiority. Kaya sila nag strive for um, um, finding a situation kung saan sila mahusay. No? Kung saan sila mas superior. Ayan. Now, meron pa tayong discuss na mahirap i-pronounce, mahirap din i-spell. And this is another key concept by... Adler. Actually, sometimes, you know, when I see the word, I realize, parang di ko pa rin siya kayang i-pronounce. Okay, so, um, I'll try my best. No, it's Jamian Shaft's full. Okay, Jamian Shaft's full, nakakabulol. No, according to Adler, um, um, Ang, ang, ang translation kasi nito into English is community feeling or social interest. So to Adler, um, development of social interest was crucial to good health. No? And 
yung interest na to, no, yung social interest na to would lead to successful relationships in the family, ano, sa mga kaibigan, and even romantic relationships, no. Also, but mostly um, relationships um, in the world at large, no, even at work. Yeah. So, the individual successfully meets um, life um, life's challenges largely due to the quality of connection na meron tayo with other people. So, si Adler, he um, he put an emphasis on the importance of the individual's connection to the community. Okay? Or connection with others to the society. Okay, now, Isa siya sa mga nagsulat actually about the strong relationship between social connections and good mental and physical health. Okay, so dapat pag psych major, alam i-pronounce at alam i-spell yung Jamian Shacks folk. Okay? So pag nag tayo, wrong spelling, wrong. Pag nag tayo, wrong pronunciation, wrong. Okay. Joke lang. Ayan. Ayan, so moving along, we'll talk about Eric Fromm's humanistic psychoanalysis. Okay, so C. Fromm, he is um, a social psychologist whose theory focuses on the five human needs or the five basic existential needs. Actually, parang ano din siya, parang if, if ako ah, parang i-classify ko din siya under existential psychology pero naka-under siya eh, sa psychodynamic theories. Okay? Um, humanistic psychoanalysis. Kasi yung mga itong dinidiscuss natin, um, they were largely influenced by um, psychoanalysis concept. Pero tinwik nila yung psychoanalysis no nagdagdag sila and they put their own take on the psychoanalysis. Ayan, so he also drew a lot of inspiration from Freud's theory, no? And although he took inspiration from Freud, he actually also challenged a lot of Freud's theory. Very, very critical si from um, sa mga ideas ni Freud, including um, Oedipal or Oedipus Complex. No, if you would remember, diniscuss niya yan nung gen psych kayo sa um, um, psychosexual stages of development by Freud, yung Oedipus Complex. Um, critical din siya about mm, the life and death instincts and also the libido theory. And so unlike Freud, who believed that we are mostly influenced by the unconscious and the past events in our earlier lives. See, from naman, he believed that society and culture also plays you know, a very, very significant role in the individual human development. He also believed that, you know, life was a contradiction since humans are both part of nature but also separate from it. And because of this conflict, no, there arises the basic existential needs, yung five human needs, um, which are five um, basic existential needs. Yun yung number one, relatedness. Second, creativity. We have rootedness. We have identity. And we also have um, um, frame of orientation. Okay? So we will discuss more on that next time. Ayan. Okay. Um, ito yung mga newer, newer theories na um, of psychodynamic theory. Okay. We will now be talking about um, Melanie Klein's object relation theory. So Klein's theory of the unconscious now focus on the relationship between the mother and the infant rather than the father and the infant one. So um, itong... Um, theory niya inspired the central concepts of the object relations school within psychoanalysis. So Klein stressed the importance of the first or four six months after birth and itong object relations theory is a variation of the psychoanalytic theory. 
if you would remember yung, yung psychosexual stages of development ni Freud no for every stage merong parang um biological based drive or or um needs na kailangan masatisfy no based on biological based drives like for oral de ba yung sa mouth ganyan ang um, ang kay Melanie Klein no she placed less emphasis on these biological based drives and put more importance on the interpersonal relationships. Okay, so for example, um, the intimacy and nurturing of the mother. <clears throat> Ayan, excuse me. So in object relations theory, um, <clears throat> objects are usually persons or part of a person such as yung very 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 popular example is the mother's breast no or symbols of any one of these now pinaka primary object dito is the mother okay now the child's relation to an object example natin yung mother's breast um serves as the prototype no or yung model for the future interpersonal relationships of the individual Okay, so isa sa important concept ni Klein yung good breast and the bad breast. Now, you know, if the child is always well-fed, always being attended to, being cared for, <clears throat> then the child sees the mother as the good breast. Pero if the child is always left crying, is um, being abandoned by, you know, the primary caretaker no which is the mother then the child sees the mother as the bad breast but then eventually na realize nung baby na um both the good and the bad breast are from one person or one object which is the mother or kung yung part ng mother no yung breast ay galing siya both from the mother and so na na realize ng infant daw na both good and bad can exist from one person. Okay, now, um, isa din sa um, important concept ni Melanie Klein is yung concept of splitting. Okay, so splitting is actually a coping mechanism that the baby does when the infant cannot fully grasp the idea that the good breast and also the bad breast is coming from one person. Okay. So, ayun nga, dahil sa mayroong contradictory thoughts or feelings in the mind of the baby at the same time, therefore, the infant may keep um, the conflicting feelings apart and mag-focus na lang siya on just one of them. Yan, ganun. Okay, so again, pag-uusapan natin siya um, more in-depth yung discussion natin dyan later on. Okay, um, now I'll be talking about the theory of personality developed by Harry Stack Sullivan, okay? Um, Sullivan's theory is based on the belief that um, people's interactions with other people, especially significant others, determine their sense of security, their sense of self, and you know, yung dynamisms that motivate their behavior. So for him, personality is the product of a long series of stages in which people can gradually develop good feeling, okay, toward others and also a sense of a good me toward themselves, okay? The individual may also learn um, how to um, ward off no anxiety and pwede niyang correct yung mga distorted perceptions ng ibang tao okay para ayun nga ma ward off niya yung anxiety no within the self according to Sullivan um the individual also learns to verify his or her ideas through consensual validations and above all seeks to achieve um effective interpersonal relationships on a mature level. Okay, so key concept niya yung good me, bad me, and not me perception. No, or ito yung 
um, collectively tinatawag na the self system, no? the collection of experiences and um, mga security measures to protect oneself against anxiety. So the good me represents um, what um, people like about themselves and ano yung willing silang i-share sa ibang tao. Okay, while the bad me naman, what people don't like about themselves and are not willing to share. Yung bad me perception, no, nade-develop ito in response to um, negative feedback with feelings of um, displeasure, discomfort, and distress. And of course, um, yung bad me creates anxiety, no? Yeah, it creates feelings of discomfort. So therefore, it creates anxiety. Lastly, yung not me naman, ito yung mga aspect of the self that are so anxiety-provoking that the person does not want or does not consider them a part of themselves. No, it contains feelings of horror or dread. No, and it the thou um not me perception that the is um or this part of the self is primarily unconscious. Okay, so very interesting. Yung mga pag-uusapan natin. Okay, on the psychodynamic theory. Okay, now the post. Freudian theory of Eric Erikson, okay, acts as an extension to the infantile developmental stages of Freud. Kasi yung kay Freud, hanggang six years old lang yon. So si Erikson, he um, incorporated yung stages of adolescence, okay, um, adulthood, pati yung old age, doon sa um, stages of development. Nayon, although yung kay Sigmund Freud is focusing on the psychosexual stages of development, yung kay Eric Erikson focuses on the um, psychosocial stages of development. So he suggested that um, um, contributing to the formation of one's personality is a psychosocial struggle during each stage no so bawat stage meron tayong struggle na pinagdadaanan or conflict and yung mga struggle na yon may take um the form of an identity crisis especially from adolescence onward okay and itong mga to ay um the act as a turning point in one's life and itong mga pangyayaring ito can weaken, either weaken or strengthen one's personality. Okay, so Erikson's post-Freudian theory is an extension of psychoanalysis um, by Sigmund Freud. Okay, um, si Erikson, he believed that um, si Freud, kaya niyang makover din sana itong uh, mga... Ano ba? Itong mga stages na to eh. But I don't know, maybe Sigmund Freud was already too old that he was not able to finish um, throughout the rest of the lifespan yung kanyang psycho um, sexual stages. Kasi hanggang 6 years old lang eh. So after nun, hindi na niya na-continue. So, tinuloy siya ni Erikson. But from a different perspective, from a psychological, I mean, psychosocial okay, perspective. Okay, so... Although um, Erikson's life cycle approach to personality made use of the Freudian theory as the foundation, no? there were several differences that existed between Freud and Erikson. Kasi nga, si Erikson, he places more emphasis on both the historical and social influences no? in addition no? to his elaboration of the psychosexual um stages beyond childhood. Kasi nga, childhood lang yung kay Freud. No? So like those of the personality theories, no, yung um, post-Freudian theory ni Eric Erikson ay reflection ito ng kanilang mga personal background. Okay? Including yung lifelong search for his identity, um, yung mga experiences niya, and also with a variety of cultures, um, 
na, na, na encounter niya because um he had extensive travels eh no and also yung mga influences ng arts okay na na experience ni Eric Erikson ayan okay okay so that's that's it for today's video this is basically an overview of the many psychodynamic theories and each of these theories will be discussed separately and more in depth in the coming days um, for my students who are watching and listening right now to this video, um, you may comment which one of the psychodynamic theories discussed now in this video, although these are just overview. Um, over This is just an overview of those um, psychodynamic theories. I hope that something picked your interest. No? And again, I want you to... Um, comment which one of the theories discussed in this video did you find um, um, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for listening. I will see you very soon and have a great day.